If you want to make it as a starting quarterback in the NFL, you've got to be confident. New York Jets quarterback Geno Smith showed he has that trait when he was asked if he'll start ahead of newly acquired quarterback Michael Vick. His answer? A simple yes. For more on this, we bring in ESPN Jets reporter Rich Samini. Rich, what kind of competition will we see with Smith and Vic? Well, to me, it's going to be fascinating because uh, you have two different guys at different points in their careers. Michael Vick has has done it before, but you know he's slowed down a little bit in terms of his durability. He's had some turnover issues. He's trying to make that last grab at NFL glory and. You know, Smith is a guy who really hasn't done much at all. He's got a lot of upside, but he was mistake-prone last year. And, and it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a great competition. I don't think it'll be decided until, you know, from very, the very end of August, at the very end of the preseason. Now, you mentioned how Smith, ha he could be the long-term answer. He's young, but then Vic has the experience. So who do you think has the edge in this quarterback competition? I'd say Geno Smith has the slight edge Based on this, it's, he's the young guy, he has the most upside, and he is a, a former second-round draft pick of this organization. So clearly they have an invested, uh, you know, a, a, an investment in him. They want him to see him succeed. So he will get every opportunity to be the opening day starter. Uh, so I, that, that slight edge could, could end up being huge for him. Geno, I mean, Michael Vick has more experience, and he knows this offense better than Geno Smith. So those are the little edges he has. But I think when, when push comes to shove, Geno Smith is the preferred candidate simply based on that he has a bright future. Now, last season, the Jets quarterback position was up in the air until we had Mark Sanchez's injury at the end of preseason. Rich, what kind of pressure do you think the team is under to solidify the quarterback position early? Well, hopefully they'll have a decision this time because last year was like a riddle. It was like a it was like a, a, a question without an answer. They went all some all spring, all summer, and battled it out, and they never actually got a chance to name a starting quarterback because, as you mentioned, uh, Mark Sanchez suffered a season-ending shoulder injury, so Geno won by default. So there, you know, there is some pressure on the team to actually see this to a conclusion this year, and you know, hopefully neither one of these guys gets hurt. And, you know, you, you just hope that it's the best competition that brings out the best in both these guys. And um, But like I said, the timetable is going to be uh, the, the full timetable. I, I don't think there will be a decision made on this until the third or fourth week of the preseason. Rich Samini with the insight for the latest football news. Make sure to keep it right here on ESPN.com. I'm Antonieta Collins with your ESPN Headlines.